Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm back in here now because I wanted to show you how I made the leaves and the flowers that I was going to do, put on the doll. Okay, now they're not hard, but because they're made out of velvet, they're very thick, it's very thick. Okay, now I've made these the way that I would have done, um, uh, that I would have done the maybe out of cotton people that who do um, applique or uh, what else do I need here I think I'm pretty right people that do applique I've got another green one and that sort of thing will know how this is actually done these leaves um, so I'm just going to show you how I did those and the flower well I've made that to show you how I did that plus another one I've got this piece of a dress now I don't know whether I bought this or I was gifted this I can't remember <laughs> anyway um, this is made out of a, this this velvet is beautiful it's not a really heavy thick because you can you can buy velvet that is actually for a furnishing fabric and you can buy velvet which means your curtains and things like that and you can buy velvet that is the quality that you would use for your um, uh, clothes and that. So somebody's pulled their clothes apart here and I've got the makings of that. So I was pretty lucky because there was a seam and all I had to do was cut the seam off like when I undid the seam I cut up here, these are the, not the right scissors I cut up along here like so and I already have I end up with no fingers left in a minute if I'm not careful and I already have it all folded over nicely if you haven't got that ready for you you will need to um, iron it probably very carefully put something over the top of your um, your work you want to put a piece of calico or something over it before you iron it but you can press it as really tight down as you like um or as that you can do anyway like it's best if you do i've got some really strong string here like string i've got this really good um running out of that too uh it's a really good super super uh, it's resistant it says it's dmc and it's really really strong and i think when you're doing a heavy fabric like this when you're working with that to make something you need to have a really solid um, thread because you don't want it to pull undone and you don't want it to break and things like this are really hard not really hard everybody can do it but it, when I say you need to pull it really tight you know to to get it to come up okay and you don't want to be using a really thin thread sorry about my hands I got um, glue on me and I've got no wipes in here and I've got ink on me but I'm sure we've all seen my messy paws before <laughs> I'm sorry about that but it's all from, from working you see from doing stuff right now I'm going to um, as I go I'm not doing a, a measurement because I need to feel that it's the right length as I'm going around like so now I haven't quite finished the flower that I was doing oh, that's it like this one because I haven't really worked out what I'm going to put in the center yet mind you I've had it sitting there for quite some time so now I'm going to go and um, catch it around this side here two but both sides together and just put the thread through there like that I gather it up now you can keep going up the side I think I will keep sewing up here but I don't want that to show so I'm going to have to be really careful not to have it showing because I'm thinking when I did that before I opened that seam up before I sewed it down because I didn't want to be able to see that seam but if you press that down like even with your hands I mean it's not going to be that visible that it's there you just give it a bit of a shove and a push and it'll be right there so just do a, a a back stitch <sighs> right, you want a really sharp needle please don't stab yourself because anything like this that's thick 
it's really hard to go through. Why I'm doing it twice, I don't know. I'm sure it won't fall apart, but anyway, okay. just how I do deal with that, okay? Now, you've all seen people make flowers like that before. But there was the only difference that we had to... We had it doubled so you could just have a nice smooth edge on it because if you didn't, if you just didn't double it over, you could you could do one like a yo-yo flower as well, like the circle, and pull that up. But to get that shape there, that's what I did for that one. And um, I don't know, I'll put something in the centre of it directly. I don't know what it's going to be, but you, you, sometimes you just got to wait until the, the idea hits you. I might should have a black back pearly somewhere. I've got a little dish with a few bits in it that I could actually I don't mind that in there. That makes that look a little bit um oldish, sort of. Goes with the leaves too, doesn't it? Okay, so now for the leaves. <coughs> um well that wasn't really easy. So so is this. Now I have a sewing machine, some people do, some people don't. So if you have a sewing machine all you have to do on the machine is just draw your leaf really simple thing to draw a leaf that way and that way then I pinned that pin there and I sewed around this looks not exactly on it but still looks like a leaf doesn't it okay so then you've got to cut this out after you've done it you, you sew it first and now I'm going to try and come right to as close as I can to the edge without cutting my thread. And I do not want it to unfray. Or fray. <laughs> um, should be right. Should be okay. We, 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 you know. So then we've got this. Alright. So then you have that. Because you've sewn the two right sides together. You've, you've folded them over. I should have showed you this bit, shouldn't I? You fold your two right sides together like so and you just draw your picture the size of the flower you want the leaf put a pin in very carefully stitch around there without running over your pin make sure you get your ends like the corners make sure you get them now you get the you get your leaf and you make a little slit in the leaf then you cut a bit of hole in the leaf, like got the yeah, like that. Not quite to the edge there. Do you hope I'm in the shot here? There's I'm waving everything around. And up that way. Okay. Now, I know I might have a little bit extra too much on there. I'll just tiny cut a bit tiny. I hate doing this. I absolutely hate cutting back a bit because I do not want it to fray undone. So now we just turn this through. Like so. You make a good size hole. You don't have to um, worry about. Well, you do. You've got to be a little bit careful. You don't want to be. Um, I've got this little hooky thing here. This will do. Just to push it out with. Get yourself a little tool of some sort and just push it out carefully. Don't be too. Don't be too rough with it because otherwise it'll all fly undone. And this bit here is going to be a little hard on me. Just push it back out there. It might look I'm like I'm shoving this through. <laughs> it's not. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. Okay. So now you've got that turned through the right side. Now I'm just going to get a bit of glue. I probably should push it out a bit further, but for time's sake, we're just going to put some glue there. <clears throat> we're going to cut off a piece of this here. Bit a bit left over that we've got laying around. Just about the same length as what we everything sticks to this velvet stuff it just gets stuck to everything and everything sticks to it so now you just want to get your little flower and your leaf and you put that on there okay now that's going to stop it from fraying back and that's going to hold it so it'll look nice for when you want to put it onto your piece of work that you want to do now you can do this with all sorts of fabric you know anything but the, I find that doing, if you want to do something, you know, you can stitch down your centerpiece here if you wanted to to make it flatter. You could also go back to the machine and you could sew around your edges here like that. I won't do that now because it's going to make a noise, but um, I think it might make it. It's up to you whether you want it to be full and fluffy like this or you want it to be nice and flat. 
you know so it sits down really nicely but I think that those um, things go pretty good the um, you sort of got this you know so it's not that's not gonna fray you got it laying down on whatever you've done and it's not gonna go anywhere and you sort of got a nice finished off edge like so but if you wait for the glue to dry you could stitch down in there and I've made some before with wire around the edge but I think this is a, a nicer better way and see even if you can't if you haven't got a sewing machine then just stitch by hand just get um, just do some back stitches you know in and out and, and, and just stitch it down by hand and then cut it like I showed you and you'll have flowers and flowers and leaves you have your gathered flowers no I'm gonna put on my gathered flowers I'll have to work on something won't I? I'll have to find something little little bits and pieces to put on there I'll go let's have a go at this I'm always cutting centers out of something because I'll any bits of doily that you get you know you can cut these little tiny bits out if you haven't got a the doily's got a little bit of markers or something marks on it or something you can just cut round and um, sit it in there maybe that's too big in that it takes up too much space sit it in there gives it I think it gives it a sort of a vintage a vintage look with the button I really think that's what I've got there but anyway so thank you everybody for watching and I'm going to come back on later and I'm going to show you what else I've been doing okay so thank you and don't forget now leave a comment because I like to read your comments can answer some just depends if I get time or not <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable how time goes so quick I just don't you know but anyway so thank you everybody for watching and we'll talk to you later bye bye